Hi guys, hope you all are doing great. Let's get started. Today we're talking about rolling back Windows updates, so let's get right into it. Now the first thing we need to do is click on the Start menu and open Settings by clicking on that little sprocket icon. Once inside Windows Settings, go to Update and Security, and by default, you'll be in the Windows Update section. Now to see what updates have been installed, click on View Update History. If you expand any of these, you'll see a list of all the updates that have been pushed out to your system. The only reason you'd ever want to roll back a Windows update is if you're having major issues. Like if your system was working fine yesterday and now suddenly everything's broken. That's when you need to roll back. If you realize, oh my God, everything was fine last night. What happened? And you figure out it was a Windows update. This is where you come to remove it. It's super simple. There's an option right here that says uninstall updates. Now don't freak out if you don't see many updates listed. Some machines won't show them all, especially if they're running preview versions. But I found a machine in my environment with some updates installed so I can show you. When you click uninstall updates, it will take you to another window where you can see all the updates that were installed. Sort them by the installed on column to find the latest one. If an update was pushed out last night and it's causing problems, just select it, click uninstall, follow the prompts, and your machine will reboot to finalize the removal. Now another way to roll back an update is by using System Restore. What is System Restore? It's a feature that takes a snapshot of your system whenever a major Windows update is installed. If an update is causing issues, you can use System Restore to go back to a point in time when everything was working fine. I'll show you how to set this up because I found a machine where it wasn't configured. Click on Start, type Recovery, and open the Recovery Settings. From there, click on Open System Restore. If you already have it configured, you'll be able to restore your system right away. But if you don't, you'll see an option to Configure System Protection. Click on that, and depending on how many partitions your system has, choose the one where you want to enable System Restore, usually the C drive. Select it click Configure, and then turn on System Protection. Now at the bottom, you'll see Disk Space Usage. Adjust this depending on how much space you want to allocate for restore points. For this video, I'll set it to 5% because I'm using a virtual machine, but if you have a large hard drive, I'd recommend setting it to around 25%. Once that's done, click Apply, then OK. Now, you need to create a restore point manually. Click on Create, give it a name, maybe the date, and hit Create. After a few moments, your restore point will be ready and you're good to go. Now, let's say you already had System Restore enabled and an update is causing serious problems. You can simply go back in time using the restore point. To do that, open System Restore, click Next, and you'll see a list of restore points. If you know the update was installed last night and everything was working fine before that, Select the restore point from yesterday, click next, and follow the prompts. Your system will restart to roll back to that point, removing the problematic update in the process. And that's it. Hopefully you guys found this tip helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you ever had to roll back a Windows update before.